Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. We'll solve this in two ways. They want to know what the zeros of this function are. And the basic idea I see x squared is that we've got a parabola. And a parabola is going to be going along and when it crosses, crosses excuse me, if it crosses the x-axis here, right? If it crosses the axis, we call these numbers roots where they cross, point, these points are roots where they cross, or sometimes zeros because the height is zero at these locations. So we can find this algebraically on the calculator. Let's do it both ways. And there are other ways as well, but we'll start with these two. So the height is zero, and height refers to f of x. That's like our y variable. And the height zero is solved for x. x squared minus 13x minus 30. And what you might do to solve this is factor out this into two binomials, right? Two factors where we multiply negative 30 uh, but we add a negative 13, and I get positive 2 times negative 15. If we multiply positive 2 and negative 15, we get negative 30, and we add them, we get negative 13. So if we check this, you can check it. Multiply these two binomials, you will get the original uh, trinomial. So now we have x plus 2, some number, this is a number, some value, times x minus 15, and that product is 0. So the only way that can happen to get a product of 0 is if the first number, x plus 2, equals 0, or, and or, it could be both, x minus 15 is 0. So in the first case, x would equal negative 2 because negative 2 plus 0 is 0. If you plug in negative 2 up here, you, for both x's, you will get a product of 0. Or x could be 15. If you plug in 15 for both x's, you get a product of 0. So these essentially are the x values of our roots, 15 and negative 2. Choice 4. Another way to approach this is to press the y equals button on your calculator. Enter in x squared minus 13x minus 30. Press the graph button. Now here I can't really see it uh, because uh, our y intercept is at negative 30. This constant is negative 30, so I hit window. I want to change my y min to negative, let's do negative 40. And my y max is at 100 from an earlier problem, so I'll just make it symmetrical. I'll pick 40. Let's see how that looks. Hit the graph button. Uh, still not low enough, right? So let's zoom, sorry, window. Let's do the y min. Let's actually go down to negative 90. Let's see what happens there. Oh, getting a much better scenario here. Now we know uh, that the roots are 15 and negative 2, so I have to kind of expand my x window. But if you didn't know that, you can just kind of try different extremes. I'll start with negative 20 and positive 20. This expands the domain. And now we can finally see the graph. But if I hit second trace here, and I want to know the zeros or the roots, I hit choice two. And then I just go to the left and the right of each root and hit enter. So it wants to point to the left of our root, enter. The point to the right of our root, enter. And then it's going to ask us to guess. And there's our first root, negative two, zero. And then I repeat the process. Second trace, choice two for zeros or roots. And we go to the left of our point and the right of our point. We'll get as close as possible here. All right, let me just, sorry, it's not going. Sometimes this calculator program is a little bit laggy and frustrating. Sorry about that. So we go up there, closer, almost there. Enter to the right of it. Go ahead. Try, you try to, you want to pick uh, left and right bound. They're like an equal distance from the root, about, to get a most precise result. And here we get 15, 0. So that matches our answer before, except we solve it on the graphing calculator. All right, I hope this helps.